Hey guys, welcome back to our Burp extension mini series. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a tool called Pawn Fox. And I really, really like that extension because it makes your life as a bug bounty hunter or a penetration tester a lot easier. So first of all, you head over, well, you can go to Google or you can simply copy this URL. And so just Google for Pawn Fox. And then it's, it's an add-on for Firefox basically. And then you install it, right? Like, so you add this as an extension, very straightforward, um, but that's only part of the rent. So you also need to come over to GitHub and look up PornFox on GitHub as well. You will find an explanation what it actually is. In a nutshell, it's like a containerization for your browser effectively and I, i'm going to demonstrate you this in in a, in a bit you have like also like post message loggers and like a, a toolbox included and stuff but the main reason i use it for is basically use the same browser but have like different profiles right like have have different profiles and have a different color coding so what i mean by that is for example um take a look at take a look at this one here um I'm logged in into a Portswigger lab here, right? So I'm I'm doing home, blah blah blah, and you can see like I have my account, so I'm I'm effectively logged in, right? If I go over to the burp history and take a look at the, at the at the burp history, um, it's actually you know uh, let me let me disable the JSON web token um, extension real quick from from the previous video. So uh, reason why I'm uh, the JSON web token um plugin is basically showing you the color coding when whenever there is a chase on web token but that's not what i what i want to demonstrate right here so i want to show you yes now this worked so let me let me clear the history so I'll delete the history so let's do it once more so i have a non-containerized tab open here right and in firefox and then basically you see there's no color coding Right, so I'm, I'm loading this and this is basically my, my session. And if I can render the response here and blah, blah, blah. But now say I want to test IDORs or I want to make some header testings or I want to you know, simulate multiple user accounts with different privilege levels like an admin and, and, and a normal user and an authenticated user. What I can do is I can come over here to, to PornFox and spin up say a green. Now let's take a blue. So now I have like a, a, a blue container, right? Pawn Fox blue. And then the beautiful thing is like, if I now put this in, like my link from, from the other tab, normally what should happen is I should be loading that as well because the, 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 by default, the cookies are being passed between the browser tabs, right? But because this is to be seen as its own independent browser, right? Um, I should not be able to get logged in and that's absolutely the case because that's like completely simulating a different machine or a different browser somewhere else, right? And, but now also the beautiful thing is now you can actually see this here. You, we have the different color coding. So everything you see in blue now is unauthenticated, right? Like versus anything which doesn't have a color coding is the authenticated requests. And ignore the, those those Git requests. That's another extension I'm using to to check for Git repositories on on the website. So it has nothing to do with with this particular demo, but um, this is this is re really really useful. And and if you have like let's say five different user accounts or five different levels of 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 access, then what you can do is you simply use like five different uh, color codings here, right? And you can turn it off. You can turn it on. You can, um, for example add a container header. So uh, what I mean by that is, for example, here you can always see that there is an X pawn fox color blue. So this is also like something where you can grab through your logging history and things like that and see like, hey, what's what's been coming in from blue? You don't have to do that, right? Like, I'm, I mean, you can turn it on and turn it off here and you can remove security headers and, and all kind, kind, kinds of things. But I use it primarily to have like fresh instances in the same browser, browser rather than having to set up like multiple instances or multiple virtual mach machines to do the testing and things like that. If you come over here to GitHub, read through this. Um, it also gives you like the explanation how to install it because you also need to come over to Burp and basically, well, first of all, you need to, to get the latest release 
and then you need to install the, the actual plugin, the extension on Firefox, but then you also need to download the pornfox.jar file, and then you need to install this in Burp as well, right? So um, you would come over here to Burp, and you go to your extensions, and then you have the pornfox extension here, basically, and that is basically being installed, right? Like um, you would need to, to install this under, the, you need to have Chython installed, like the, the, the Python environment for Burp Suite locally. Um, but other than that, you can simply follow the instructions on the GitHub website and then install it. And then just see if it works. If you see the color coding, everything works fine. And it's very, very simple to, um, to install and to use. And I use it on a daily basis. Actually, I, I have been using it for years now. And there's, there's a lot of customization options and stuff like that as well. So I, I hope you find this useful. Okay, um, that's it for today's video. And I'll see you in the next one.